In this video, we are going to have a walkthrough of the features available on the Vivo Cabs Rider and Driver app version 2, our white label ridesharing application. Vivo Cabs was created to help business owners launch their transportation company with an app that allows passengers to hail a ride and drivers to charge fares and get paid. This product comes with a back-end platform and two applications, the Riders app and the Drivers app. The back-end is accessible only to the owner, who is also referred to as the platform's admin. The admin can easily manage the working of the product including the driver requests, riders, drivers, ride requests, ride ratings, vehicle types, registered cars, and ride complaints. The admin also gets to manage all the settings that affect the working of the apps, such as managing the permission given to a driver, running a subscription-based model on the driver's app, and so on. Once the admin sets up everything from the backend, both the driver and the rider apps can be launched for the applicable users to download. These apps are available both for Android phones and Apple phones, and can be downloaded from the applicable app store. Let us begin by looking into the features of the driver's app. Once the driver's app is downloaded and opened, the user is taken to the login page, where they can either log in or register on the app using their number and an OTP. Once logged in, the user is directed to the home screen of the app. Vivo Cabs has a very simple yet advanced interface. At the top of the screen is the driver's name and their current work status. On the left side is a bento menu icon, and on the right side is the ride request list icon. Below this section is the current location of the driver, which cannot be changed. At the bottom of the page is a summary of the driver's report for the day, including the total time of the current session, the number of trips the driver has completed, and the total earnings of the day. Tapping any of these arrows will take the driver to a page displaying the account summary. On this page, the driver will be able to see their current balance, completed trips, today's earnings, today's trips, current rating and total rated trips till date. To view a list of all the rides completed till date, tap the View Detailed Reports button. Kindly note that the list of rides can also be reached from the Account Management section, under Your Rides. Use these filters to view the reports of specific days or a specific period. To view all the rides completed for a specific day, tap this arrow icon beside it, and all the rides completed on that day by the driver will be displayed. If a ride report where no rides were completed is selected, an error message will appear as shown here. Go back to the home screen and tap the bento menu icon to reach the account management page. Drivers can manage their account from here including adding emergency contacts, changing their subscription plan, viewing their current subscription plan, learning more about the app via FAQs, and contacting the admin. Kindly note that drivers can only view their account details under this page and cannot edit any information at all. However, if a driver wants to get their information updated, they will need to contact the app's admin for the same under the Contact Us page. Furthermore, drivers have the option to not only offer riders to people, but also deliver packages. By turning this toggle switch on, drivers will be able to receive package delivery requests along with ride requests. Vivo Cabs follows the GDPR policy quite strictly, which is why each driver has the option to request the admin to share the whereabouts and details of the respective driver's information. Additionally, the driver also has the option to have their account and all data deleted permanently from the platform. However, if the driver simply wants to log out from the app, they can do so by tapping logout from the bottom of the list. Vivo Cabs also offers the drivers with a digital wallet, allowing them to get paid easily and directly on the app by most of the riders. Go to the wallet to view all the transactions that have taken place till date. On this page, drivers can easily add money to their wallet and withdraw money from their wallet. However, drivers need to maintain a minimum balance in their wallet, as set by the admin. And if the wallet balance is more than the minimum balance required, drivers will only be able to withdraw an amount that is greater than the minimum withdrawal amount as set by the admin. After everything has been set up, the driver can start accepting rides by going online. As soon as there is a ride request nearby, the driver will automatically be directed to the ride requests list page, which can also be accessed via this icon. Drivers can easily accept or even decline a ride request from page based on their comfort. 
Once a ride request is accepted, the ride process begins. Now, with the driver ready to take on a ride, let us move to the rider's app, look into its features, and then book a ride through it. Once the rider's app is downloaded and opened, the rider is asked to log into the app using their number and an OTP. However, if a new rider is trying to log in, they will be directed to the registration page to add their complete details, agree to the terms and conditions, and create their account. Once logged in, the rider is directed to the home screen of the app. VivoCabs has a simple yet advanced interface. At the top of the screen is the rider's current location and a bento menu icon. Before booking the ride, set up the rider's account under this section. Riders can manage their account from here, including managing emergency contacts, updating the payment details, managing saved addresses, learning more about the app via FAQs, and contacting the admin. Moreover, unlike drivers, riders have the option to update their information by tapping this edit icon. VivoCabs also offers the same GDPR request options to the rider, where they can request their data details or delete their account permanently. However, if the rider simply wants to log out from the app, they can do so by tapping log out from the bottom of the list. Riders also get a digital wallet like drivers to allow smoother payments through the app. However, riders can only add money to their wallet and cannot withdraw any money from their wallet. Tap transactions to view the list of transactions that have taken place till date. The last thing a rider can manage is their rides. The Your Rides page displays all the rides that have been taken till date under this tab, and all the rides they will take in the future under this tab. On the home screen, view the list of all the recent rides taken under this section. To book the same ride again, tap the ride details, and it will automatically take the rider to the first step of booking a ride, with the same pickup and drop destination. We will get into the detailed process of booking a ride a bit later. Other than booking rides, VivoCabs also offer riders the option to receive packages or have packages delivered. Fill the details and book the request. Once a driver approves the request, they pick up the package and deliver the same as per the details added. Back on the home screen, at the top is a field that displays the current location of the rider, also considered as the pickup location. To update and get the exact current location, tap this icon. To add another pickup location, simply move this pin. And to add a saved address as the destination address, go to choose Save Places and select the address to begin the booking process. To book a ride without these options, either tap Ride or the Current Location field. Update the pickup address as by tapping this field and choosing from the options available. Set the time for when the cab ride is needed. Then, select the destination address. Riders can either enter the destination address, select an address from the saved address list, or choose a location on the map. When Choose on Map is selected, riders can move the pin to select a location from the map and confirm it. Before moving to the next step, kindly note that riders can add these addresses to the saved places list by tapping the heart icon beside it, giving it a name, and saving it. The next step includes selecting the vehicle type based on the number of passengers, vehicle rate, and so on. Begin by reviewing each car's information by tapping the info icon beside it. Once done, select the appropriate option. Apply a coupon, if available. Choose a payment method. Kindly note that the payment method selected will be charged once the rider reaches their destination. However, if cash payment is selected, the rider will have to pay the driver with the applicable cash amount once they reach the destination. Let us move ahead and book the ride. With this, the app begins to look for drivers nearby and sends them the ride request. All drivers who are available near the rider's location will receive the ride request. Each request will include the pickup location, distance, ETA, and estimated fare details. If the driver is comfortable with the ride details, they can tap accept, else they can decline the ride request. Once the ride is accepted, the driver will be able to message, 
call or share their live location with the rider to make the pickup process easier. They can also open the location on Google Maps using this icon to navigate better. However, if the driver changes their mind, they also have the option to cancel the ride before it starts. On the other hand, when the ride is accepted, the driver's details will show up on the rider's app. It will include the vehicle number, name, rating, and ETA to reach the pickup spot. It will also display the driver's real-time location on the map as they approach the pickup location. Additionally, while waiting for the ride, riders can send a message to the driver, call them, or share their live location. They can also share their ride details with friends and family, or even cancel the ride if they change their mind. Once the driver reaches the pickup location, they need to notify the rider by tapping ready for pickup. When the rider enters the vehicle, the driver needs to tap start ride, and it will request for the OTP. Once the rider shares the OTP, and it is entered, the ride begins. The rider can review the path followed via the app to reach the location. In case of any emergency situation, both the apps have an emergency button. Once the ride reaches the destination, the driver needs to mark the ride as completed by swiping this arrow right. With this, the bill will show up on both the apps, along with the ride details. If an automatic payment method was selected by the rider, the bill will be deducted accordingly, and will be marked as paid. If not, the rider needs to make the cash payment. Once done, both the rider and the driver can share their feedback about the ride. With this, the ride is marked as completed and the driver will begin to receive ride requests for their next ride, from within their proximity. They can either accept their next ride or go offline. All in all, the complete VivoCabs product has been created keeping in mind the transportation industry standards. So, if you have been looking for the right platform to execute your cab business plan, VivoCabs is a great choice. Get in touch with us today to experience the future of transportation at your fingertips by launching your own ride-hailing service with VivoCabs.